taking a chance Family Like birds of a feather Family Pick up a shoes and dance Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. Those things. Okay. And tell your friends about us. But uh, if you like what you watch. Um, our second point of just when you're full throttle headed to success is you've got to fit to mute the noise. You've got to figure out what your daily habits need to look like in order to mute the noise. One of the things, I'm going to give you a couple things uh, and then Shay can chime in. I'll kind of give my perspective first, then you can give yours, because okay. him and I are totally opposite on this. Well, I mean, we do some of the same things, but his looks way different than mine. One of the ways that I mute the noise in um, my life is having a great schedule, and not I'm not a scheduled person at all. He's opposite. He loves schedules. He loves to do the same thing. He ate lunch at 11 a.m., every day of his whole life until he met me and <laughs> i'm like i'm just getting going at 11. Worry, we like can't we can't have lunch at 11. you can three. i thought go right ahead go out to lunch so and he went to the same restaurant too every day i had breakfast at 11. So, um yeah i haven't even thought about eating yet uh, but i've got my fat pants ready i don't know if y'all know that but this is what, these are my Thanksgiving cups. Uh, we're getting prepared. So here's what here's kind of what I do is I get my this is what I say get your mind set and keep it set for the day. How do you do that? I make a grateful list. Number one, and that I find when I'm pressing forward, when I'm not making a grateful list and reminding myself of all the gifts I already have and thank God I'm not where I was 20 years ago or even 10 years ago or even five years ago, that I'm making a tiny bit of progress every single day and I'm sure as heck not, well, not where I want to be right now. I can tell you for sure, not even close, but I'm so much farther than I was. So I write it down. You know, some days when it's cold outside, I'm just thankful to be in a warm bed. I'm thankful I don't have to get up early every single day and fight traffic. I remind myself of blessings every single day. I remind myself that I have what I prayed for for 10 solid years before I met this man. I prayed for him. I believed that he was coming. And even when he just irritates a fire out of me, I'm still going to write down, thank you, God, for Shay Copeland. Thank you, God, for bringing this incredible man into my life even when we're not lining up with things you know I'm still grateful I'm still thankful I don't ever want to live one day without him you know I've heard it said like this I was this sign hanging in our bathroom right when we go when we go to the bathroom we're looking at this sign that says love is not about who you live with but it's who you never want to live without so I think just making that grateful list jotting it down that's something I do every single day day before I get my coffee, before my feet hit the floor, and I just real quick just say, God, thank you. You know, because what if you woke up tomorrow and only had the things you thank God for today? Some people might go, oh my gosh. And so I would never feel that way because I'm going to have a whole lot of the people that I love because that's the first thing I'm thanking God for every day. And it's not that my day doesn't ever go wrong, but when you set your mind on the right things and um, there's a book that I read called the 4-8 principle and it's actually a whole book about living your life with Philippians 4-8 but thinking Great on book. things that are lovely that are true that are of good report because y'all there's a lot of bad report out there I don't like to look at the news I don't like to read the news I don't like him to look at it because it affects your psyche whether you want it to or not so that is one thing that I do every single day without ceasing that keeps me the noise muted. Something else I did recently, just along this line, so it's a part of my daily routine, 
is I set myself a limit on how much I look at Instagram and Facebook and it alerts me. You've looked at it too much. And I've gotten where I just put my phone up and I don't get it back out because I don't want to be on that too much. I want to interact with my friends. I want my friends to know I'm proud of them and I'm cheering them on if they post something good. So I want to get on there and see that. But I don't want to look at the wrong thing. So I limit my time on there. And so that's, it's a big deal. Social media is a huge part of our life and how much time we waste not filling our minds with the wrong thing. So that's something else I do on a daily basis. When I actually get on the treadmill and walk, I feel so much better. I would be lying if I said I did it on a daily basis, but I need to. And when I do make a point and I'm intentional about just even walking and getting my heart rate up for 30 minutes, what a difference it makes in my life. And so I, I really want Shay to hold me more accountable in that. Um, these last 45 days and we'll kind of report how that looks but I want to do better with um, making sure that I do that and then something else I want to give y'all one more thing that I do on a daily basis and that is speak my affirmation over my life and that's something we've taught our children to do if you haven't seen the video we've actually got a video on here with our little boys doing their affirmation Walker and Waverly did affirmations their whole life I believe it's part of what helps us be successful, think right, do right, live life right, just having that perspective put in our mind every single day that we are children of God, that we can do things that other people don't think they can do. Why? Not because we're some superhumans, but because we love the Lord and the Lord is guiding our steps. The Lord is um, taking us where we want to go. And I actually just have mine recorded on my phone and I just listen to it. And remind myself of all the things that I want and where um, I'm actually headed and so that's something else that I do and then I just make sure this dog um, go over there and lay down go lay down Astro no sit he's not gonna listen to me so that's something that I do what we're talking and it's like he's usually just chill on the couch no. but we're making these videos he like, no, you're not being in this. Go. He may just have to be put out. I think he has to go outside. Oh, you think that's it? Yeah. Okay. So, we'll finish Hold my on. portion of this. Just... Sorry about that. Asher was telling us he, that he needed to go to the restroom. Do his business. He was telling us. He's like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> I'm, I need to go outside. So, um, and then just every day, I'm looking at... What, what my vision is. And I have a vision mirror, actually. I used to just have it on my phone, and, and I still have that. But I go look in the mirror, and around this mirror are the visions for my life and where I just believe God is taking us as a family, taking me as an individual, as a mama, as a wife, as a leader. And then as I look around that mirror, I'm looking at myself in the mirror knowing the only way these things are going to come to pass is for me to do the work and do my part that God has planted these dreams inside me and these visions inside of me that I've posted all around this mirror but nobody can make them happen but me and my discipline and my daily work you know you can't um you can't switch out prayer for work they've got to go hand in hand it's got to be praying and working and sometimes I think people are sitting around praying and hoping and believing and having faith, but they're not taking any action. You know, my mama always said it like this, is God feeds the birds, but he does not drop the worms in their nests. They got to go out and get them and bring them back home. And so that's what I know. I've got to do my part and then have the right heart and God is going to bless that effort. But if I don't make any effort, I'm not giving God anything to bless. So Absolutely. those are my daily rituals, my daily things that I personally do. And wow, what a difference it makes in my success. And when I'm not doing them, I can tell you I see myself slip back. I see myself go the opposite direction. Then I buckle back down and start doing them again. And blessings start chasing me down. So that's my perspective. And I know Shay's going to kind of give you his daily. Well, before I do that, I want to say two things. One, this woman impresses me so much that, you know, little things can go on, go on around like our dog telling us he needs to go to the restroom. And then we let him go to the restroom and she's mm -hmm. just right back into it where it would just like, <laughs> like I can't, I can't figure out what I'm going to say anymore. Mm -hmm. 
And two is, you know, just kind of want to tell you what her her vision mirror was it was like. It's like a full length mirror, and it has. We can film it too, but you tell him. Yeah, and it has it. all these things that she wants for her life, our family's life, just our, our kids, just pi our kids, and pictures that are around the around the mirror, and basically the concept that is, if it's if it's going to be, it's up to me right. because who are you looking back in a mirror? You're looking back at yourself. And so, so I, I didn't just, just want a vision wall or a vision board. Yeah, I've done those years ago, but I thought of this idea. It's kind of crazy. I know. This is my it's, idea. It's so great. It's so great. It's a mirror, and it has all these things like that. So, um, so there, there's you. So I get dressed. I'm like, do I look cute today? And then I go look at that mirror, and I'm like, okay, I got to do this. I got to be a good mama. I got to call my kids. I got to be a good wife. I got to love on my husband and do all the things and then I've got to reach out to this person. I need to call that person. I need to make sure that I'm impacting other people all along the way. So I just love my vision mirror. I'd highly recommend doing one. Yeah, for sure. it's real cool. It is yeah. cool. But so how I just, I guess. It's mute. a whole different perspective. Yes, a muting noise. I know, I know. <laughs> we do opposite. Well, not necessarily opposite. I would just say my number one that that I mean well my number one is exercise I, I've I have to um, you know you have to do it. I have to work out because mm -hmm. when I work out that gets my mind open my, I feel good my body feel feels good and that helps me a it, it just really helps me tackle the daily struggles of, of you're the best when you're working out. Of, of life mm -hmm. Um, I, I have to it you know and I, I everyone you your endorphins when right you're everyone's out. different and so you know so it's I, not a necessity for me but it is your necessity it is my necessity. Your, my necessity is my grateful list yeah. and my prayer mm -hmm. yours is working out yeah I, I, I just know I've just found that about myself I have to work out so when I work out then I'm able to read my read my Bible to focus. and and receive and focus and receive what God's telling me um, a, another thing that, that, that I do is, is that, you know, while I'm working out or after I work out, I, I have to read. I have to put my, um, my mind on, on, on things that are, I guess, self-help. I'm always reading a self-help book, whether it be, you know, mentally self-helping. Uh, so while you're uh, working out, you've got your ear pods in listening yeah, to a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening I mean, to a book. I'm where, uh, whether it's about my diet, where it's about relationships, where it's about my walk with God, whatever it is, I have to be in the word of something that that's read a proverbs every day. Yeah, you know, I'm you saying I'm I'm always I'm I'm always reading something or well I'm trying to trying to my my, my daily. This is when you're really throttled to success. Yeah, my walk. daily habit is I'm I'm reading. The Bible every day, Do but then I'm also. Do you see a difference when you're not? Absolutely, absolutely. I see a change when when I'm not, when I'm not taking. I mean, and this is just me. And when I'm not taking, taking God I, as my business partner in life, when He's not my partner, he's then just I just all messed up. I'm just all. <laughs> We all need it. Yeah. We do. But, you know, it's such a difference maker. It is. It really is. It is. And he just, just it recognizes it. And sometimes I can just go, why are you getting in the Word when you're working out, when he's having an off week? That's one question I can ask. Mm -hmm. Are you praying? Mm -hmm. Are you are you um, reading? You know, are you, are you pulling out, you know, your Bible studies and different things? And it's always a difference maker for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and really. This for me, too, but. That's, that, I mean, I just feel like those two things, I mean, really, that's only the two things that, that I need. That to be I, great. To, I, me, to be great. He, need, he only needs two things. I need like 20. No, <laughs> I mean. No, it is true, though. But that's here's the what difference, I, I think, with men and women. Well, that's the difference with our perspective is you can go take an hour and a half at the gym and do all those things while you're there because you're listening with your earbuds. You may pull out your phone in between a rep or something and read mm -hmm. your Bible or whatever it is. 
Right. I know you tell me this. No. I'm not at the gym with no. him. Let me just go ahead and tell you that. Uh, if I walk, it's on our treadmill here at the house. <laughs> but you tell me these things. Or you might text me in between. I just heard this on my phone. Or we need to do this. He gets inspired while he's there. Where I'm more, uh, I'm more laid back than you. Mm -hmm. Everything I do is the start of my day here at the house moving slow. You're better if you go straight there and get this going and get fired up where I fire myself up just by being calm and chill <laughs> and doing my little routine here at the house. So it's too totally, there's no right way or wrong way, but you got to have a healthy routine. Now I can say for both of us, we both, I want to point something out, we both have to connect with God in our own way every day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Whether it be in prayer, whether it be, for me, it's writing down a grateful list and thanking God mm -hmm. for these things and asking God to direct my thoughts my for the next day. For you, it's getting in the Word and connecting with God that way and setting your mind on the right thing. So we set our minds different ways, but... You may be doing it while you're working out. I may be doing it while I'm sitting in bed. Right. As my eyes first open. But that is one component that is a game changer. It's just a game changer for our life. And when we try to do it without the Lord, nothing works. Well, it just doesn't. And I think as we've gotten older, we know, we've realized. Like, it's like, and, a, and especially I've seen, I've seen this in Kimberly in our marriage, is that, you know, I guess a few years back, you didn't want any struggles. You want everything to be perfect, and I was no very one, upset. no one, <laughs> arguing, fighting, no, no problems. I wanted no, no issues ever. And if there was, it made me very anxious and very. And so you've gotten better at this. Is kind of what we realize is, is that there's always going to be struggles. As long as we're is it is you know is. There's always, you're always going to be struggling yeah. with something, some area of life. It's never going to be mm -hmm. just nice and nice and easy. It's always going to be situations and thing like and things like that. And I think that we have learned to, because of our daily activities and the way that we mute noise and the way that we get our day started, um, in which sometimes... This leads us to our third point. Which we are, we're able to struggle well. Yes. And deal with the struggles and put our armor on yes. and yes. be happy yes. and and no what's what's what. good noise, what's bad you know, let's be able to yes. to decipher what's good noise, what's bad noise, what you know, what we need to what area we need to focus on, what area Sorry. needs to be just kind of put on the back burner. You know. So